Hi everyone, so I'm here to show you guys how to achieve a very fun, colorful look. This video was requested. I did this look in my review of Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Brightening Serum. And I originally put this look on pretty much just to show you that bold colors look good on healthy eyes and using good skincare. Um, but yeah, anyways, the original look was done with a lot of different sugar pill and inglot shadows and it was a lot of product and back and forth. So I've tried to simplify this look. So I'm using pretty much just inglot for the eyes. And I do like this version of the look better to be honest because I do think that um, the shimmer in the inglot shadows gives this look a little bit more character. I'm going into a little bit of detail about color theory, so if you'd like a little bit of instruction on that, then continue watching. Today's look will be starting off with my Sedona Lace 305, which is a kind of a short, um, kind of rounded, tipped paddle brush. 362 matte square, this really pretty, bright, but somewhat light pink. It's not the hottest pink I own. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this in the inner portion of the eyelid. Round out the edges by using that brush. Take inglot number 480, which is this sort of corn flower blue right here in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and take 480 and pat this on the outer edge of the eyelid. When you're done with that, just go through the center where those two colors meet and pat them down sort of try to gently blend those together for 63 which is sort of this beautiful tan nude color and we're just going to blend that under the arch of the brow bone 58 which is this gorgeous bright vivid green up here it has like gold sparkles and we're going to place this in the transition area now if you're new to makeup or new to blending in general i recommend uh, softening up this look possibly with a light brown shade through the crease and then putting on the bold color if that helps you blend a little bit more. So for the intersection port portion of the crease I'm going to be taking 57 which is this fabulous vivid yellow right there. It's got shimmer in it. It's very similar to Sugar Pill's Butter Cupcake although I think this one is much more of a delicate primary yellow versus Sugar Pills Cupcake, which almost seems to have a mustard undertone to it. Take a blackened blue, navy, and this is color number 61. We're gonna go ahead and blend this into the outer corner of the eye. I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in the shade Matte Camille. This green pop a little more. And depending on how much green and shimmer you want to show, um, that's how far I would pull it down. I'm gonna go ahead and take 57 again. I'm gonna work the way the color is wrapping around the crease like I mentioned. I believe the rainbow effect works well this way because you have the pink or which is from the red family pulling into the purple which is part of the red and the blue family. The blue itself and uh, the green which is an extension of the blue and the yellow family and then the yellow so you kind of always have it working in this direction which is why I chose this pattern because we're just going to connect um, the outer corner that we have going in the crease and extend it wrapping around underneath the eye. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Zuzulux liquid eyeliner long and curly mascara all right I am going to go ahead and take the Ardell edgy lashes in number 401 so I'm not going to go ahead and take kind of like an accent loose eyeshadow and that is sugar pills loom all right so for the contour I'm taking Too Faced Aqua Bunny this is on the sale listing of Too Faced's website but I already have another cream bronzer I'm gonna try when this is dead I'm just gonna apply my contour using the same brush I used to apply my concealer highlighter as I mentioned a lot taking the same brush um, to do another area or, pe or work on the face of that same look can really help blend the whole uh, look together. I'm taking the All Natural Face uh, Cream Blush. This is for lip and cheeks actually as most cream blushes are. This is Peachy Rose. 
and we're actually going to contour with blush today. Now you could actually just eliminate the contour that we already did if you'd like, if you want a more subtle look. And this is also a great way to get used to blush and contour. Sort of just an introduction is just to um, to blush if you don't like blush as like color or you feel you already have a lot of color in your cheeks. My highlighter for a look that's done low on the cheekbones. I'm actually going to highlight higher. And, you can, and if you don't like highlight or bright highlight, you can always choose something very um, close or forgivable to your skin tone. Or you could even choose a dewier foundation and just to highlight with that rather. And we're actually just going to buff in the highlight. As we do this, it's blending with our foundation because there already is a little bit of color and foundation on the brush. You don't need to pound your face to death with powder because that will remove all the work you did with the cream products. We're just taking Pumpkin Poppy's Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil and a stipple brush and just stippling some powder into the skin. If you have dry skin, you don't want to move the brush too fast over the skin because it can sort of softly um, exfoliate and kick up products. So for lips, I took the Bell's Healing Lip Balm in Lavender, and in order to sort of mute down the color in this gorgeous Steela Balm lipstick, I um, this is why I placed that under it, because this has the payoff or intensity of a lipstick. This is a gorgeous color, it's called L, and so that's already on my lips. And I love the, I love the mint and the lavender together, but maybe it's too spa for you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.